Good morning, everybody. My name is Cale Beers. I am the Director of Athletic Development and the play-by-play -play voice of LaSalle men's basketball. Thank you all for joining us today on a very special day at LaSalle University and for LaSalle Athletics. To begin our program, please welcome Brother Edward Cheehy, an Associate Professor in History and the LaSalle Team mo Moderator for the men's basketball team, who represents us with the morning invocation. We worship God in many different ways, but he has told us that wherever two or three are gathered together in his name, he is with us. So let us remember that we're in the holy presence of God. In today's first reading at Mass, Paul thanks the Christian community in Macedonia for their welcoming nature. Thus it is appropriate today that we ask your blessing, Lord, on our new athletic director, Brian Baptiste. Help him, Lord, to continue our emphasis on student athletes, a tradition of dedication, and remembering your role in our lives and athletic endeavors, and to foster the Lasallian values of faith, service, and community. Help us to support him as he faces the challenges and changes in both the local and national sports scene. We remember the recent feast of Pentecost, Lord, and ask you to inspire Brian Baptiste to be a vital part of our community and to be an inspiration to us to be the same. And Lord, help him to learn quickly that unlike Evanston, Illinois, in these parts, we do not root for Wildcats. <laughs> Lord, we also bless and thank Bill Bradshaw for his years of service as we welcome someone with the same initials as his. And so, Lord, we welcome Mr. Brian Baptiste to the LaSalle community, and especially the LaSalle athletic community. And we ask your blessings on all of us, and especially on him and his family. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and Mary, our mother, amen. St. John Baptist de LaSalle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Thank you very much, Brother Ed. Today is, this, and is, is an historic day as we welcome a new leader on campus who brings a wealth of experience in the world of athletics. To give some background on our next Director of Athletics and Recreation, Brian Baptiste, please welcome to the podium a strong supporter of our explorers, LaSalle University President, Dr. Colleen Hanich. Thank you so much, Kale. Good morning and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this momentous occasion. So whether you're a student athlete, and I know we have a number of our student athletes here, so welcome to you in particular. Staff or faculty member, an alumnus, or simply a fan of LaSalle University, we also have trustees who are with us who have made the effort to be here. You are certainly familiar with our school's rich athletic history. And today, we begin another chapter in that storied history as we usher in an exciting new era of LaSalle Explorer Athletics. But we, before we move forward, I first want to acknowledge the person responsible for helping LaSalle Athletics reach new heights in re recent years, Mr. Bill Bradshaw. As many of you know, Bill is retiring at the end of the month after a 40-year career in collegiate athletics and 54 years, ladies and gentlemen, as a LaSalle Explorer. Saying that these are big shoes to fill is just a, a significant understatement. Throughout Bill's time at LaSalle, going back to his days as a student athlete playing baseball, he has truly left his mark not only on our athletics program, but on the LaSalle community as a whole. Most recently, Bill's support throughout the search process for our new athletic director helped lay the foundation for a very smooth leadership transition, and for that, Bill, I am most appreciative. On behalf of the LaSalle community, Mr. Bradshaw, I want to offer my sincere thanks for your unwavering dedication and commitment. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Bradshaw. The role of Director of Intercollegiate Athletics and Recreation here at LaSalle comes with a tremendous amount of responsibility, especially to our student athletes who are at the heart of our athletics program. As a LaSallean institution with an unwavering commitment to meeting our students where they are, 
Our top priority is to provide our student athletes with an holistic college experience. And while athletics certainly plays a prominent role in their lives, it is just one piece of a much larger picture. We want our student athletes to excel not only in their athletic endeavors, but also in and beyond the classroom. We want them to have fun, to fully engage in their time here, maybe join a club, something that piques their interest, or to step into a volunteer program to bolster the community around them in some important way. At LaSalle, we have created an intentional culture in athletics, one that emphasizes commitment to institutional integrity, academic, athletic performance excellence, and of course, service to our community. For that, I am extremely honored and proud. But who better to talk about this culture than one of our very own student athletes? Next, you will hear from LaSalle's men's basketball senior guard, Saul Peary, one of my absolute favorites about his experience at LaSalle and the role athletics has played in daily life. Please join me in welcoming Saul. Thank you, President Hanich. Um, it's an honor to be up here today speaking on the behalf of the student athlete community at LaSalle. I first learned what LaSalle University was all about four years ago when I came on my recruiting visit. It was very clear to me that LaSalle Athletics was committed to giving their student athletes the complete college experience. From my very first day on campus, I realized that student athletes are held to high standards academically, socially, and athletically, and are encouraged to explore their interests both on and off the fields of play, something that is very important to me. We are provided many different types of support services to ensure that each of us excel physically, academically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally during our time here. Through these support services and with the guidance of our coaches and administrators, LaSalle students athletes are given the tools and motivation to realize our full potential. Through our experiences, we have learned the importance of leadership, determination, competition, sportsmanship, and teamwork. As a basketball player, the skills and the discipline I've learned on the court have translated into my everyday life. Shaping me into the person I am today, those skills have instilled the confidence and mental toughness at a level I never thought I could reach. And then there's my teammates, both past and present, who I now consider my brothers. We have learned firsthand that the pressure is not on us to perform, but on us to prepare in everything we do in life. Together, we are stronger. Together, we believe. Over the past three years, I've seen firsthand the strong emphasis LaSalle University places on community and how important LaSalle athletics is to our community. It has provided me with an opportunity to make lifelong friends, further my passion and play in a competitive Division I program, and for that I will always be grateful. I'm so excited to welcome Mr. Baptiste to this community and to our Explorer Athletics family. Thank you. Thank you, Saul. We appreciate your continued dedication to LaSalle Athletics and look forward to an amazing season, right, Saul? An amazing season, right, Saul? Yep, I got it, all right. All right, just checking. So it's student athletes like Saul that were the driving force behind our desire to find the very best and brightest to lead this university into our next era. Their future success depends on the ability to deliver and we take that seriously, which is why our search committee, along with our partner, Parker Executive Search, took the time to conduct a comprehensive national search that featured some incredibly talented and well-qualified professionals, each one of them amazing and accomplished in his or her own right. The high caliber talent that we attracted is a testament to what you have all helped to build here at LaSalle. Our coaches, our faculty, our staff, our student athletes, our Christian brothers, our alumni, our trustees, everyone has come together to build this and we should feel a tremendous sense of pride. The process was not easy and I'd like to thank all of you who offered your guidance and counsel along the way to me personally, as well, including those who very eagerly served on our search committee. So I'm just gonna go through the names of the search committee. And if members are here, maybe you could just a little wave or a stand to, to let yourself be known. Joe Mead, our search committee chair. Sean Corgan. Sean. Dr. Chip Gallagher. Thank you, Chip. Kristen Heasley. Dr. Elizabeth Pollan, Beth Pollan. Dr. Angela Pollock. Angela's here. And Dr. Don Soufleris. Thank you. It was with your assistance 
and your relentless commitment to finding the very best talent that we were able to select an individual who I think we can all agree is the perfect person to lead LaSalle Athletics into the next era, Mr. Brian Baptiste. We did not pick him for his last name. I know that I've been <laughs> asked that question. I mean, it's a nice little convenient thing, but that was not the reason. An attorney by training, which I've always thought of as the perfect starting place. Brian comes to us after serving seven years at Northwestern, most recently as Deputy Director of Athletics for Capital Projects and Operations, where he played a significant role in one of the most transformational periods in Northwestern athletics history. During his tenure, Brian oversaw an unprecedented athletic facility renaissance, including the $270 million construction of the Ryan Fieldhouse, Wilson Field, and Walter Athletic Center. The project, which impacted 19 programs and more than 500 student athletes, provided varsity sport programs along with club and intramural sports, a state-of-the-art development center designed to enhance the student athlete and student experience. In addition, Brian led the planning and construction of the $110 million renovation of the Welsh Ryan Arena, the $23 million renovation of the Trinan's Performance Center, and the $15 million construction of the Rocky and Bernice Miller Baseball Park. All of those things will be done this summer, all of them. <laughs> Furthermore, he has extensive experience in Division I athletics, having previously served in leadership roles at Georgetown University, and the University of Delaware, and is a member of multiple NCAA and Big Ten committees. While Brian's resume certainly speaks for itself, for itself, what I have also learned about him throughout this process is that he's extremely inspiring, charismatic, and dedicated to his craft. Most importantly, he shares our goals and vision for the future of Explorer Athletics. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my distinct pleasure to introduce the new Director of Intercollegiate Athletics and Recreation, Mr. Brian Baptiste. Good morning. I'm a, let me just let this soak in a little bit. Let me just let it soak in a little bit. <clears throat> it's humbling to stand with you today. First, I thank God for this amazing blessing. He deserves praise because something like this doesn't happen by luck or by accident. Today, this opportunity is part of his journey for me, and I'm so very grateful. Thank you, President Hanage for believing in me and affording me the opportunity to lead LaSalle's Athletics and Recreation Department. Thank you, Joe Mead and the entire search committee for your diligent work. Repaying your belief in me and my abilities will serve as a daily motivation. Your investment and commitment to LaSalle is incredible. My family has uplifted and supported me every day of my life, and they're sitting here before me today. You are amazing. Speaking of amazing, my mom, she raised two kids on her own, and she had the courage and the strength to leave the small island of Trinidad to come to the US, leaving behind her dreams so her kids could chase theirs. Her sacrifice and selflessness is incomparable. She couldn't join us here today, but I know she's at home and she's watching and she's very proud. My partner in crime, my sister, running a little bit late today, so I'll, I'll give her a hard time about that. Um, she's meant so much more to me than a sibling. She's been my guardian angel and my guiding light. She can't possibly understand how much she's meant to me. I want to thank her for showing me the way. To my three wonderful daughters, Sanaya, Jordan, Zoe, you stole my heart from the second you entered this world. You are the living definition of unconditional love. Please stay exactly the way you are. Don't grow up. And please, this deserves an extra please. Please, no dating anytime soon. Finally, my wife, Jessica. 
you are the undisputed point guard of our family. And unfortunately, you don't have any eligibility remaining, <laughs> but you will forever and always be a consensus first team All-American. Thank you for your unwavering support and walking side by side with me through our journey. I love you. Today never would have happened without Bernard Muir and Samantha Hughie taking a chance on me at Georgetown. They both changed the trajectory of my life. And what I thought at that moment was just a job has turned into the life investment and the development of the next generation of future leaders of this world. To Chris Reynolds, thank you for being the big brother I never had. And for your constant encouragement and your relentless bolstering of my confidence. And after every interaction, you saying, you got this, man. As to my most recent mentor, Jim Phillips, thank you for always challenging me and for your unwavering commitment to my personal and physical development since day one at Northwestern. There are countless other individuals from family to friends to colleagues here in attendance today. You've made a profound impact on me and my career. I thank you all. As you can see, I've had incredible uh, mentors throughout my life. And that trend continues here at Phil in Philadelphia as I begin this new journey. Bill Bradshaw, a true titan in this industry, has already impacted my life. Bill is a great man of character and commitment. He stepped in to uplift his alma mater when called upon. That's a true sign of love. Our relationship is one I look forward to the development, developing even more, and I hope you don't mind me leaning on you heavily <laughs> for guidance in the days, months, and years ahead. As I reflect on my upbringing, raised by a single mom, growing up in Maryland, we didn't have much, but we didn't need much. I was raised on the core principles of drive, hard work, dedication, respect, the importance of education, and a strong commitment to faith. Those are the values that helped shape my foundation and will be the guiding principles here within our department. I faced a crossroads shortly after graduating from law school and passing the bar. Something was missing. What should have been an exciting and joyous time instead left me feeling empty, like something vital was missing. Should I follow my dreams and passions or play it safe and go with the norm? We all face these decisions. Luckily, I went down a road paved with my passion. If I was gonna be my best, it would be in intercollegiate athletics. And that road has led me here today. I am honored, thrilled, and humbled to join the LaSalle community. LaSalle is an institution with a rich history of providing educational opportunities for those that have historically been underrepresented. Just as important, LaSalle understands the responsibility we all have to influence society in a meaningful way. It's an institution established on Christian Brothers principles of service, faith, and community. Ensuring each young person on campus receives the necessary support and attention to develop career guiding, knowledge, and skills. And it precisely aligns with my personal ideals. While that is most motivation enough anywhere, residing in the heart of a world-class city like Philadelphia absolutely seals it. One of our country's most historic cities, Philadelphia helped shape our nation. It's full of pride and grit. It's a blue-collar town where people aren't afraid to roll up their sleeves and get to work. Philadelphia has a rich athletic history with the Big Five and a story tradition of college basketball. The home of all-time greats like Lionel Simmons, Michael Brooks, and Tom Dgola. It is a city determined to show the rest of the world what it has to offer. 
a lot like LaSalle itself. It's a home I can't wait to experience and embrace. Our mission for LaSalle Athletics is clear. We will deliver a transformational experience to all student athletes, academically, socially, and athletically, ensuring that all explorers have the resources and tools needed for sustained success in college and the rest of their lives. Our coaches and staff will be motivated each day to develop the young men and women with whom we are so privileged to work, like Saul himself. We will directly be aligned with the values of LaSalle as it relates to teaching and learning, a strong commitment to faith, service to others, while embracing the strength of our community. If there's one thing I learned about athletics, is that excellence, even personal excellence, never is achieved alone. My charge is to build, support, and sustain a team to accomplish those important goals, to serve the student athlete, to serve the university, to serve the purpose. Through this commitment, we will achieve excellence in all endeavors, that we graduate our student athletes, that we proudly compete and will at the highest level in the Big Five, the Atlantic 10, and NCAA competition. That we invest our time and energy in the Philadelphia community. And that we always, always act with the utmost integrity. LaSalle will serve as a microcosm for the rest of the world to see what an exceptional institution we have. To all LaSalle explorers, thank you for welcoming me and my family to yours. The outpouring of support and well wishes have been sincerely appreciated. You represent all that is great in the world. I'm ready to roll up my sleeves with you and help our student athletes, coaches, and staff accomplish great things. I promise we're going to make you proud. Remember, explorers are never lost. This is an exciting journey and I'm thrilled that we will make it together. We all believe in our hearts that there's a better destination for LaSalle Athletics. And my pledge is to lead us there as the Director of Intercollegiate Athletics and Recreation. Thank you for this opportunity. Hold on. Go Explorers! Thank you very much, Brian. This concludes today's welcome event. Uh, there's an opportunity for questions and answers in the auditorium, uh, which will begin in 15 minutes. The auditorium is located just back there. Once again, thank you very much for attending. Dr. Hanich and Brian will be available in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Thank you. <laughs>